let's get everyone that isn't crippled to go up there and fight this guy. Let's look at his health. All of you guys are in passive still. I'm, how do I keep doing this? Yeah, this dude's literally chopping down people in one hit. There goes Kang's leg. What's this guy's health at? We haven't heard him like at all. Oh, there goes what? Kang's other limb? His arm? It's all just then who doesn't have working arms and his legs broken too. Okay, so I guess we can't take out this guy with all of us. We did more damage to him last time with just the weaker people going after him. Maybe we just need to heal? I'm guessing this tower is probably the safest place for everyone to sit at. And we could sit here, but people's hunger is also going down pretty fast. So I'm gonna have Wrath run to the nearest city, which is <laughs> Last Stand by himself to go get food, because apparently skin spiders aren't made of meat, so they're just gonna sneak in the top of this tower, and we'll have Wrath to go get food, because he goes way faster than the spiders, so they're not even gonna catch up to him. straight out. If we were in a better city, I'd probably try and get a leg for greed, but I don't think the Sheks sell skeleton legs at all. Okay, everyone was hiding that whole time and didn't get found once. Now we just have to kill these like two skin spiders that are up here. So hopefully after the like couple hours journey of Wrath running all the way to last stand, people have healed up a bit to be more ready to fight this guy. So everyone's not really fully healed. We still have people in recovery comas basically and people without a leg that I'm not going to be able to replace anytime soon. Everyone's healed but I kind of want to see if we can maybe cheese this guy a little bit. So, I mean, Cat isn't great with the crossbow, but like, I've heard that crossbow kind of OP, so maybe we can just dink him a couple times, like while he's running up. Apparently this is doing a lot more damage than everyone else combined can actually do to him. This is literally doing more damage than we did the entire last time we fought him. His chest is half dead already. Nope. <laughs> yep, literally. Cat is dead? What? He got hit in the head for 121, instantly died after doing all that damage to him. Wow, okay. That's, uh, that sucks. <laughs> You could choose him a little bit. I guess he kind of got unlucky for getting hit. Full tilt in the head. He doesn't have a helmet or anything on.
Okay, so we got some economy legs and an extra arm, some extra legs and stuff. And we got a skeleton leg left high, which is better than the economy ones. Might as well head through Squin because it's on the way and I don't feel like running through the swamp because I've never been there either. Okay, well we've made it back. Okay, so currently after all of that running around we did, uh, all of the sins are basically at 100% health. Sloth's chest, well Sloth's head is still pretty damaged. Greed's sneak ability because of his new leg brought his sneak down 60%, so that kind of sucks. But everyone else is basically full. A lot of the sinners are close to full health, if not full health. So Sten can actually fight, Greed can actually fight. We are pretty set to actually try and fight this guy again. I think we're gonna do the same plan as the last time, where we're gonna have everyone set to passive. We're gonna have Cat go up again to cheese him with his crossbow for a little bit. Okay, what's his health at? He's pretty damaged. Uh, we could keep cheesing him and literally kill him this way, but that doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun. So I'm gonna take everyone off of passive, then we're just gonna keep cutting him with cat until everyone gets up here. We got him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. He's gonna be unconscious for 83 seconds. Sloth, pick him up. We got him, boys. Okay. Foreign Saber. Another model number, Metal. Nice. Take that. No more heals for you. He literally had a rag loincloth. Are you kidding me? Well, everyone that's not dead, medic. We didn't lose anyone, right? I mean, people are like really injured. I mean, Greed didn't lose another limb, so that's good, I guess. Jeez. God, I've tried to take out this guy so many times and just like lost so many limbs from people, or they just get hit in the head once and then die. Oh, we gotta see what's in this chest, but we're just gonna chill in here until we get full healed again, and then we have to go back out into the spiders, back out into Arch, fight a bunch of spiders to get out of here, and carry this guy back to Admag, I guess, to talk to that guy that told us to go away unless he brought us the Bugmaster. God, this Bugmaster was insane, though. Like, I thought we had a good group of people, and a lot of people, too, that we'd overwhelm him or something, but dang, he was just a brick shit house, just all around. If he had armor on, we definitely wouldn't have won, but it's kind of promising when you see someone with no armor and a good weapon do that well because once once this whole group gets to that level of skill and we have good armor and good weapons it, we're, we're gonna be unstoppable 
so that's nice to look up to. That being said though, he had like 95 or 100 in all of his stats and we have like 40s and 50s in all of them. I guess now is as good as time as any to check this chest. What the hell? Human teeth. What are these for? Bugmaster's map. Okay, so I guess we got something we can sell for five grand. These are possibly edible. Do I really want <laughs> my hyper followers to be eating human teeth though? Kind of unsettling to think that these bug people Eat, can eat human teeth. Now that we have the bug master, what I think I'm gonna do so that I can get the bounty and get everyone out of here safe while everyone's healing, I'm gonna send Pride out carrying the bug master. So I'm gonna have him run the bug master out of here to add mag, I think is where the guy is I have to bring him to. So I'm gonna take him out. So just like how Wrath left to do stuff, Pride's gonna leave because he can run a lot faster while carrying this guy while everyone is still just chilling in here healing. Has there ever been a time when you've walked away from music, when there hasn't been music in your life? No! Now here's a real treat for those of you hi-fi fans in the medical profession. Playing mood music from his new album entitled Music to Have the Asiatic Flu Bot. Yeah, they're all salivating at the mouth. Cause I got the bug master over my shoulder. Ah, uh, this guy. There he is. So even the stun bomb is like, go take him. Is that the bug master? Hundreds of years and he's finally been slain. I hand him over to Ban. Yeah, sure. Relations with the holy nation decrease by 10. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> You'll go down in history for this as a true ally of the Shek. It was nothing, I enjoyed the challenge. Hmm, there really is. Our most infamous of enemies. Shek kingdoms, now your allies. See of success. Got a hundred thousand cats. Speak to Esther Kin, she'll be honored by your company. Get to talk to Stone Golem. Speak with me, Pride. Pride, you did what no Shek ever could. The Bugmaster is finally defeated by your sword. Reverence. By the Shek, you are no longer an outsider. You are our kin. Nice. The day I name you Warrior of Crawl, an honorary invincible. Pride, the Battle Horn. Nice. Hey, everyone's calling me Battle Horn and then yelling or something. <laughs> the Holy Nation just keeps hating me even more and more. Shek Kingdom 100. Okay, that's pretty cool. Holy Nation, negative 100. Okay, so I'm basically like very negative with a lot of people. Kind of negative with a lot of people. Zero with a lot of people, but like the Sheks and the Shinobi Thieves, 100, baby. <laughs> what will you have of me this day? I'm going to ward the Phoenix. She glares at you, and the room falls silent with anticipation. You will not fight this war without the Shek Kingdom. We fight with you, Battlehorn. First, we hit Seda of Stack and take the town as ours. My warriors will want to fight by your side. Ask them. Do not deprive them of the battle they deserve. Do you hear me? Then we lay siege to the grass plains and take Valentina of Okrin's shield with it. The phoenix mutt falls last, only after he watched his nation collapse under his feet. What do you say of this plan, Battlehorn? That does sound like a good plan. Okay, cool. So I guess we're Gucci gang to just go fight stack then. Wow, okay, all the Shek Kingdom is green for us now. That's pretty sick. The plan right now to get out of here is this group of people right here carrying people that can't run very fast and people that can run pretty fast just by themselves and not super hurt. They can run about 18 miles an hour by themselves. The skin spiders only run 13 miles an hour, I think. 13 miles an hour, yeah. So we're gonna get this group of people to run all the way home and then we're gonna six of the seven sins come back and then pick up Ruka, Chad, and Sloth because Sloth was like 11 miles an hour still. So we're gonna run all these people back to Squin and then we'll come back